What's up, everyone? Back at it again with the juice. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, one thing we're going to eventually do is we're going to turn each one of these little segments into a component, uh, into a class, so that, like, this whole clipper group right here is going to be one component um, contained within a class. It'll make the code much cleaner because it'll be all confined into like its own file so i think let's just do that right now so i'm gonna put it in this ui components and let's see i'm gonna go into the producer and here it is the lv template and uh let's see we're going to the file explorer we're going to ui components and we'll say new component class between cpp and header okay let's see uh, what should I call it? I guess just LV Clipper. LV Clipper component. Not to be confused with the Clipper in the DSP folder. Create files. Uh, yep, that's correct. And then, so what does this give us? <clears throat> uh, where to go? Okay, so you can see it has a paint and a resize method as well as a constructor kind of like our main editor so we can basically treat this um the same way so so we're going to basically take everything that has to do with the um clip group dial yeah okay i think we're going to need to include our widgets but let's just go ahead and grab this and we also need the clip group and yeah it's gonna say hey i don't know what any of this stuff is and that's because we need this and we'll see if that works okay so i think just the file path might be wrong widgets widget includes that's it right there okay so that should be good okay we're good so now we basically just have to kind of go in here and paste everything that um we need Oh yeah, plus we're gonna need the uh, constructors for all of these. So basically all of this, we're gonna call this, uh, this is what you call a pro gamer move. Okay, is that the fader? A okay, fader. Yeah, I hate having to move my hand to the other side of the keyboard, especially whenever I'm streaming because the microphone's kind of in the way and it makes everything easier. Okay, so those are the components. We can get these out of the way. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna need the stuff from the constructor so I think I'm just gonna take all of this clip stuff and put that in this constructor uh, I don't think we need to say set size uh, uh, so let's go into resized and we are gonna need I think we're gonna need width and height. So I'll say void set width and height like that. We'll put that in this clipper component. I'll put that down here. And then I'll also need a width and height variable. So let's just take that. That ought to be okay. Which means that now I can take this stuff Go into the resize function. And we don't need oversampling window component. Uh, we don't need the pre stuff, just the clip stuff. And let's see if it tells us that any of these are unused. If they're unused, I will. Ah, okay. So we are 
relying on another component to get its X and Y position. So we can figure out a way around that. Actually, I think if we just say zero, so if we say zero, whenever we go into the main editor and place this clipper component, I think it'll just work out. Yeah, I think, yeah. Cause we're gonna need to put it anyway. So let's just make sure it builds. It's not gonna do anything yet. Ah, okay. So we need to pass it the audio processor in some kind of way. So a reference to a juice audio processor and uh and then what do we do with it <clears throat> oh wait then we would need that oh let's just call it audio processor so i don't get confused yeah let's say audio processor audio processor oh wait you know what audio processor and then Let me go into here and I'll do this and I'll say flipper component and I'll say, uh, I'll just put it down here for now. Uh, what is it? LV? No, is it juice LV? And, uh, audio processor and then if I just go here and I say clipper oh add make visible clipper component okay so I guess it had to be instantiated for add and make visible to work I don't know uh and then what about this can does this work now variable cannot be implicitly captured in a lambda with no capture default specified Maybe I just can't do it like this. And this isn't the way we're, that it's gonna eventually actually work. What we're gonna eventually do is just pass the tree. But maybe we should just do that. Let's uh, look at this. Where is it at? ADSR component. Instead of passing the, yeah, so we're saying the tree and I'll just get rid of this lambda okay whatever let's do this real quick let's go into resized and I'm gonna comment this out for a second uh, let's see I said clipper component yep and we just need to do something like this clipper component dot set bounds um, so I think it's gonna be gonna be the same as this but with the the other with the uh, pre-group instead of the clip group so we're gonna say pre-group uh it x with plus that and then this one was 48 okay oh semicolon ah okay so i think it's in the right spot that's good. We just need to go back into here and uh, get rid of all this stuff. Oh, I didn't call set width and height. I hope that's all it is. Hey, very close. Uh, only issue is, uh, let's see, I wonder why it was offset like that, clip root, top margin, maybe I should say zero instead of top margin, yeah, that makes sense, okay, so here's why that worked, so imagine whenever I have a clipper component now, when I say set bounds, whatever I set in the plugin editor is going to be this point is going to be zero zero right so whenever I was in here and I said left margin and top margin it was being drawn right here in the plugin editor and then I was saying top margin and left margin so it was coming over by that much 
So it looks like I need to do the same thing for the slider. Oh, it's zero. Uh, I don't even know. Get Y plus, I guess top margin so that it get left margin okay I, so I see I just need to redo my left and top margin for this inner component and I think we're okay okay let's take these back in so that we can see what the layout looks like okay so dials need to be larger because now the width and the height is uh, much smaller. Okay. Better. Oh, you know what I could do? Go back to what was it by 0.1 and then I'll just say width, width, which is the parent plugin window width. So that should put it back to what it was like before, hopefully. Okay, yeah. I just need to bring this over a little bit uh, plus left margin left margin is that so I don't know go back down to like oh five that's decent yeah okay there we go cool so now you see how it works uh, let me play this again okay so if we think of this group right here as a component contained within itself because it is a module. So we have the pre-tone module, the clipper module, and the post-tone module. And since we're thinking of it as a module, it's an object, which means a class, right? So we've made a component class called clipper component where everything is contained within that component in here. That way in the main plugin, all you have to worry about is calling add and make visible on this component and then resize on that component. And uh, let's see. So the only thing we're gonna have to do is let's let's connect the, well, sorry. Let's clean up everything that we don't need now. So all of this. And you can see now our header is gonna clean up a lot. Uh, is, that, is that it? We'll use errors to tell us what we missed and it looks like we didn't miss anything. Looks okay. Okay, and nothing weird happens when I move everything. The dials are there. So trim, negative 96.4, high pass filter, mix zero to 100, ceiling, whatever. And then if I resize it, yep, the resizing works, beautiful. 